Scott Love multiplying overall wins and Anthony Bennett to the Timberwolves for Kevin Love, a move that shows LeBron James is more powerful than a shark NATO. Skip, how good are the Cavs now? Stephen A. Smith, I'm here to suggest to you that right here, right now, my San Antonio Spurs would beat in a playoff series LeBron's new team in Cleveland even worse than the Spurs beat LeBron's Miami team in the NBA Finals. I'm not sold the way you are sold on this. I see a first-year head coach with no NBA coaching experience. I see very little playoff experience outside of LeBron, of course, and Verizhao, who looks to me like a beat-up, sort of breaking down 32-year-old player. It's not the same player LeBron, LeBron played with in his first go-round in Cleveland. I see a Kevin Love, who in player uh, efficiency rating in crunch time last year, in clutch time, he was ranked 79th of 198 players that qualified. And I see a Kyrie Irving, who I think will be the big shot taker and maker on this team, who needs the basketball in his hands. And I'm not sure how he and LeBron will start to vibe. I think that'll be a rough transition. And then I see a team that, outside of LeBron, I, who plays defense? Who protects the rim on this team? I, I don't see it. So I think people are overrating just how spectacular and and invincible this team will be. Well, don't accuse me of it, Skip. Bayless, because I didn't say the Cavaliers would win the NBA championship. I said they would be the favorites to come out of the East. And that's essentially by default, because I think with Paul George going down, Indiana is out of the mix. I don't think the Knicks are ready yet, nor do I think Atlanta, Charlotte, uh, uh, Brooklyn or these guys, I don't think they're ready yet, even though Brooklyn would be in the mix with a healthy, healthy Brooke Lopez back. I think that the Cavs deserve the edge over Chicago because I need to see that Derrick Rose is going to stay healthy. That's my position. If Derrick Rose is healthy, then to me it's a toss-up between Cleveland and Chicago because Chicago can defend. And the acquisition of Pau Gasol to pair with a healthy Derrick Rose in that system, I think could bode very, very well for the Chicago Bulls. And even though I would pick Cleveland because of LeBron, it would still be a pick em, a toss-up. But I don't believe the champion will come out of the East. I don't think these teams are better than the San Antonio's, uh, the, the Oklahoma City's, dare I say, even the Los Angeles Clippers. I'm not sold on that yet. So I'm sorry, I, I just want to be clear. I think that Cleveland has upgraded. I think they should be the favorites to come out of the East uh, with this lineup, unless Derrick Rose is back to being Derrick Rose. But that doesn't mean they would win the West. I wouldn't pick them to beat San Antonio either. Are you sweeping what's left of the Miami Heat under your carpet right now? I just don't believe that Dwayne Wade is going to be the Dwayne Wade of old. If Dwayne Wade, his knees are healthy, it's a different ball game because he's a superstar when healthy. I'm just not sure when you have no cartilage in your knees that you can return back to what you used to be. That's my trepidation about Dwayne Wade.